Hello, this is the spotlight video for NIPS 2016. Here we are presenting our paper Learning Deep Embeddings with Histogram Loss. In our work we address the task of deep embedding learning. Deep embedding learning corresponds to training a deep network to map input data samples into high-dimensional descriptive space, such that semantically similar or matching samples are mapped to vectors that are close, and non-matching ones are mapped to vectors that are far away in the descriptive space. Lots of systems for cognition and retrieval consider supervised learning of deep embeddings, where the training process has access to lots of labeled matching and non-matching pairs. The success of the embedding learning process very much depends on the loss functions. Some systems use pairwise loss functions, which score positive and negative pairs separately. Some use losses that consider triples of examples. Unfortunately, despite clear intuition behind different losses, using them in practice is often tricky. Optimal performance of the resulting embedding often requires training of the learning parameters, including parameters associated with the losses, such as margins. Some losses also require mining difficult pairs in order to obtain good embeddings. Our new loss is defined at the batch level. Consider a batch of training samples, for instance images where color coding indicates matching ones. This batch is mapped to the decrypted space using a deep network. Now the task of the loss is to measure how successful is this network in putting matching samples close to each other, while mapping non-matching ones far away. Our loss considers color products between all positive and negative pairs within the batch. Assuming that the descriptors produced by the network are length normalized, these color products are distributed between minus 1 and plus 1. Our loss then aggregates two histograms, one corresponding to the dist distances between all positive pairs, and the other corresponding to the negative pairs. For aggregating these histograms, soft assignment is used. Using the aggregated similarity histograms, our loss can estimate the probability that the similarity of a matching pair is lower than the similarity of non-matching pair. To do this explicitly, one can compute the cumulative density function for the positive histogram, and then find its scalar product with the negative histogram. Note that all the computations are piecewise differentiable, and therefore computing the partial derivatives of our loss with respect to the input descriptors is relatively straightforward. We can therefore plug our loss into any batch stochastic gradient descent algorithm. The only parameter associated with our loss is the step size of the histograms. Fortunately, our experience suggests that the quality of the resulting embeddings is not sensitive to this parameter. Thus, our loss has a very attractive property of not having any parameters that it is sensitive to. We perform extensive experiments and compare the quality of the embeddings learned using different loss functions. In some comparisons, our loss shown in blue is on power slightly worse with the best of the previous losses with carefully tuned parameters. In other comparisons, the embeddings trained with our loss are better. In practice, awaiting the parameters tuning for our loss is a big advantage. We hope that our loss can become a plug-and-play solution for embedding learning. The provide cafe code on GitHub while implementing our loss for other packages should be straightforward. Thank you for your attention.